What's up everybody, welcome to your 6th Dreamweaver tutorial. Today we'll be looking a little more on links. Last time we learned the basics, but now I'm going to be teaching you how to change, remove, and style links, and some other things as well. So the first thing I didn't teach you guys is how to open a link in a new window. Say you have a link to a website such as YouTube as we have right here but when the viewer clicks the link you don't want them to go to a whole new window you want them to stay on your page and open up a separate window this allows the viewer to stay on your website while viewing a new web page that you have a link to so to do this we already have this link hyperlink to YouTube highlight the link and click target down here and select blank now whenever the viewer clicks the link it'll open up a new window and not navigate away from your page so as you see I opened up the browser and let's go ahead and click the link and as you can see instead of changing this page right here it allows the viewer to stay on that page, open up YouTube in a whole separate window, never leaving your website. The next thing I want to teach you guys how to do is change links. Let's say we have a link right here to YouTube, but we want it to go to a new website like eBay. So all you have to do is quite simple, just highlight the link, and under the link text box right here, just change to YouTube to eBay and changing a link is actually that simple now to remove a link entirely is a little different say we have this email link and we want to remove the link entirely but keep the text go over to your link drop down list and you'll see all the web pages that you have linked on your site and then you'll see this blank space at the bottom click the blank space and deselect your text as you can see the text no longer has a hyperlink or underline underneath it now when you click the text nothing will happen and the last thing I want to talk to you guys about is styling your text for hyperlinks under the page properties button go ahead and click links this will show you all the styles that you can use for all of your links on your website so let's say we want to change all of the links to rage italic and we wanna make it so none of none of the links are ever underlined you can also change the size, bold, or change the colors of different states of links. The visited links will show the links that you already went to. The rollover links will show it when you place your cursor over it. And the active links will show whenever you're currently clicking down on the link. And you can change the colors of all of those, but I'll leave them like it just like now. And click OK. As you can see, our links are now rage italic and they do not have an underline underneath them. This is how you can format links for an entire website in one simple click. Again, just go to the page properties and click the link tabs to format the links for your entire website. And that's all the time we have for right now, but next time we'll be diving into images for your website and some more advanced topics as well. And if you're not already there, you can go to my website, www.thenewboston.com, and I'll cover everything I went over today. Thank you.